I'm going to make this a uh, panelized wall system. Okay. What I want is to be able to lay this out, and I'm going to build my build my long walls first, my load bearing walls this way. So they're going to be 24 foot 24 foot worth of wall panels. Uh, four foot each and basically I want to be able to set my board here on my sole plate right here and then have a wall panel and I want my sheathing to come down and go a little bit past this and I want it to go up and I'm gonna I'm gonna make it where I, I can set out a uh, set out a spot for for uh, trusses to have a heel truss um, but anyway right now I'm gonna build a wall panel let me show you I'm just gonna build it right on the deck here I'm gonna overbuild this wall panel I want it to be a uh, doubled up bottom plate doubled up top plate and double plates in between You'll see. You don't have to do it this way. But I'm going to build this at a 2x6, so 5.5, comma. And let's go with a 2 12 footer, 12 foot. I'm going to hit push pull for P. Drag this up, hit 1.5. Space bar, triple click, make component. zoom out gonna click on the corner drag that hit control and move that 12 foot snap it okay select that select that paint bucket wood Okay, that's my two bottom plates. Um, now I want to build wall panels. Let me uh, copy this and drag it on over. Control. foot panel so uh, I'm gonna hit a uh, comma four foot move up 1.5 gonna make that a component click on that gonna go the, hit B for paint bucket stud. Just going to click on that. Make my uh, hit comma 1.5. It'll snap to 1.5. Now since I'm using a, a double bottom plate and a double top plate that's uh, 6 inches and 8 foot minus 6 inches should be 90 inches. <coughs> so I'm going to hit my push pull tool, drag up just a little bit, hit 90 base bar, triple click, make component, create, okay, now I'm going to use the M button for moving it, hit control, snap that there, use the uh, tape measure tool, hit T, drag over, go to the Two foot hit M. Kind of drag this one. Hit Control. 
leave that highlighted, hit M again, drag it over, hit control. Okay, drag that over. Now uh, you can see I got a couple wall panels. I'm gonna I, mean, I got a couple studs, sorry, I select that, hit the M tool, and drag it up, hit control. I'm gonna go ahead and hit control hold down control, select all these, paint bucket. Okay, I'm going to delete the guides, I don't need those. Okay. I'm going to, uh, let me show you guys how far. I'm going to use uh, T for tape measure. I'm going to go up here. See right now this is a uh, seven foot ten and a half. So when I add the other top plate, which will tie all the wall panels together, basically my idea was to lay out this and then put panels in between and then tie the panels together with top plate and a bottom plate, and really tie and tie them together this way. You'll see, I'm overbuilding this for sure. But uh, I think I've always thought this would be a good idea to, you know, one person can lift this panel, panelize, just build wall panels. Um, but anyway, um, so when I add my final, basically I'll just move these up and it'll be, uh, tie them together and it'll be an eight foot, eight foot from here to the end. But, Actually, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and drag that up there. Let me see. Hit M for move, control, snap a copy. This is ready. Okay. Just to show you. Okay. Now, as far as this side is concerned, my idea for this is to use a uh, let me see how far from here to here. That's nine foot two and a quarter. Okay, so what I want to do now is just give myself a reference point. So I'm just going to draw a little rectangle, hit R, and just draw it down a little bit. I want my heel on my trusses to be about eight inches. So I'm gonna use my push pull, go up eight inches. <clears throat> okay. So now that gives me a reference height. I'm gonna delete that in a second. I want basically a, there's an eight foot of coverage here from here to here, eight foot. There's a foot of trusses and about eight inches of here. So for this point, I, th I was thinking of doing four by 10 sheets, which they sell. <coughs> four by 10 sheets. I'm just starting here, corner. Coming down to here. And just hit 10 foot comma four foot and then you notice now as you can see that gives me a a little bit of overhang so that when water and stuff gets in it'll drain all the way down there's no there's no joints or gaps here that's my idea but I don't know 
And that gives me about a let me see T. That gives me about an inch and three quarter overhang. Um, I'd put a little a little flashing underneath. I'm not going to draw that on here, but uh, that's the idea. So anyway, hit push pull, drag this back. I want my sheathing to be strong, so I want three quarter. You can use seven sixteenths or whatever, but I'm going to do three quarter. Three comma four. Now, ah. let me uh, make a component, create, select that, hit B for bucket. This is OSB, make that OSB. And now it's just a matter of uh, making this a component. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Actually, I'm going to undo that. I forgot to delete, so I'm going to go undo paint, undo component. I'm going to come here, hit push pull. I'm just going to drag this down so it'll delete. Oops, damn it. Actually, I'm going to redo some stuff, get back to where. A stupid thing. I messed that up. Alright, we just undo it all. Undo. I select the. Let me just go ahead and get rid of that. Hit E. Get rid of that. I did this the wrong way. Hit E. Get rid of all this. Damn it. Undo erase. Erase this line here. And push pull this to here. Okay, I'm back on track now. I think. Make sure. Alright, let me get rid of this little line here. Alright, sorry about that. I just did something I wasn't paying attention. It's early in the morning. I'm getting tired. Let me see here. Did I make that right? Yep. Okay. It's going to triple. See, no, I don't want these. So there's a line there I got to delete. Let me delete that. And delete that. Okay, alright. Make component. Create. B for paint bucket. OSB. That's OSB. Okay, alright. Now, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and uh, just delete that for a second. I was just using that to show you guys, but let me delete that. This would be the actual wall panel. So now I want to hit spacebar, select that, hold down my control button, select that, select that, select that stud, that stud, that stud, and that stud. I'm going to make that a group. Okay, so now I want to click on it. I got me a little panel selected. <clears throat> okay, now I'm just going to click on the uh, corner over here, drag it, hit control, move it four feet, hit X times six. I just drew all the rest of the wall panels. Drew too many. Delete that one. <clears throat> I 
basically my idea for this is uh, for the it's a three 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 panel system I can have just a, a standard panel or I could frame out a window or I could frame out a door right here and just you know swap in or swap out any panel I want I think that'd be easy but uh, anyway okay now I'm gonna make um, now I'm gonna make this a group gonna hold control select all these make that big panel a group now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this whole system over here. So I'm going to move it. Control, make a copy. Move it there. Kind of come up here. Press Q for rotate. I want to be on this plane. Blue plane because I'm going to flip it this way green plane flips it this way and so going to click go out of ways click and just come back 90 degrees actually this would be 180 I think it says 180 so I'm going to click there now I'm just going to zoom over here hit M for move grab this corner and just drag it down can't get it so I'm going to zoom use the wheel and zoom out I'm going to drag it here I want to make sure it snaps there clicks and yeah, done easy as that <clears throat> now like I told you um, if I wanted to swap out a, a window panel or whatever I could just click there click that and hit delete and, you know, and put in slap in a window panel or whatever else I draw but I don't need that so undo undo you guys got the idea <clears throat> okay I'm not gonna put I'm not going to do a front panel or a back panel. I'm going to show you guys how to draw trusses now. <clears throat> 